Hi guys, this is Ruben with Skyline Properties. Walk you through the step-by-step -step process here, um, covering a lot of where we make the incisions, um, how we plan this out. Um, I usually start with uh, getting a, at least four pieces of tape. I have them ready to go. Um, walk through the installation of the, of the extension, which is last. Uh, we're also testing out a different color um, vinyls to get more people's attention a little bit better. So I'll walk you through this one. This is exactly the same as this one, but like I said, I'm going to go from start to finish. Um, we usually get this. This usually already has an incision on the back. If you can see it here. And the way I do that is I simply lay the vinyl down. I don't press down too hard. I just take my, the razor blade and I just kind of drag it across. And I create another one. You can see it, it's, it cut through the paper, but just barely. It just creates kind of like a perforation. Once that's done, and you'll see why in a minute, I usually place the four pieces of, of uh, tape across the, the left side. You can start with either side, it's completely up to you. And then I'm just going to come up here and just center it. The U is usually the center of the sticker, and I'm just pretty much going across the top. Make sure I have equal spacing um, on the other side, and I don't get really technical down to, to measuring with the measuring tape. It doesn't, it's not that critical. As long as I'm going off the space I see across the top. So once I have that down, I won't need this razor blade right now. <clears throat> and then, again, this is just a simple process of pulling it off. Um, you don't want to pull up, you want to pull with the window so it lifts it. And like you see here, um, the, the sticker actually is still stuck on the, on the backing. And it's gonna happen every now and then, so all you do is you rub that corner with your nail, and once it picks up the edge, the rest will follow. See here, I did it again. So as you, you'll see me doing that, it's because that happened. It's because somehow the vinyl just did not, the transfer tape is not on there well enough to pull it. And if it ever happens, like it does here, especially around round edges, you just go back and rub that edge and the rest will follow. Now I'm approaching the halfway point here where I made this perforation, and you'll see it here. Um, even though I can barely reach, it is at the point where you can just tear it off. Just, just a little tug. Once you tear it off, that's why I made that perforation so it's, it's easy like a tear off. And once you start at that edge, you just rub it back down. It should lay down pretty quickly. The adhesive is strong enough. You don't have to sit there and rub it a whole lot. I'm going to jump over to this side. Now we can get rid of these for now. We don't need them until the next sticker is ready. So this one's going to be a bit longer. It's going to be about 10 minute video at most. But like I said, I wanted to cover everything. I'm going a little bit faster as I showed you. The only things that happen is when the sticker's not coming off, just kind of rub it off. Rub the edge. Once it lifts, the rest will follow. And that. Now with this portion, since I'm done with that color, I'm just going to remove the transfer tape. Usually with each portion I install. Um, if this was all one piece thicker, you obviously would finish the rest of it off before you remove the transfer film. But since I'm done with that portion of it, and again you pull with the window, if you pull up you'll lift the film, it's too fresh. So this portion is done. I'm going to move on to this section and I'll do it in, I'll do this one in two sections just so I show you how I would section it off when I have to, especially when it's a larger sticker. Again, I'm going to turn this around. I have not made that perforation on it yet. I don't put a lot of weight on it. I just take the blade and I just drag it across the top, which is very lightly. And what it does, and what you can do before you do that, you can just bend it and it creates a perforation so that when you're ready, you just peel it right off. It'll, it'll come right off. Same procedure. Just put the transfer film here or uh, the, the tape. I'm going to line this up. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm not too crazy about making sure that it's all perfect. I'm just going to eyeball it, make sure I have spacing across the top. And then just tape it down. That way I know it's going to stay in the exact position that I want it. So, what I'm going to do here. 
is I'm going to do it in two sections as I usually do it when it's in one piece. If this was in one piece, I would do it in two sections. So this is almost assuming you're doing it in two, and it's a large sticker, you're going to section it off. Um, because when you're doing a lot of stuff, um, accidents can happen. And to avoid that, you can do it in sections. So here, I'm going to do the top portion, which is the phone number and extension portion. And you take, it, take this razor blade, you cannot cut the window with the razor blade. You just can't. You can dig in, cut all the way through the film here. Okay? Set that aside, and now we've separated it. And the same thing again. Just start lifting. If anything is stuck, you just rub the corner or the edge. See, like here, you just rub that corner, and the rest will follow. It happens again. Again, all the round edges almost always happens. When we reach the halfway point, this is something you can do if you're by yourself. Take this edge and tape it to the window so that this doesn't touch anything else. Then you can have a free hand to come in here and tear along that perforation that we made. Okay, so if you're by yourself and you don't have anybody to help you, just tape that corner. Not the white sticker, just the transfer film. Just tape it to the window and you can come back here. Freeze up a hand and do the rest. Okay, I do that often because, you know, it's... You just want to make sure that you tear it off cleanly. Uh, the blue stuff, you make sure you tear it off cleanly. And because the, if you have any of these white stickers touch it all, it's pretty much disaster. You have to start from the beginning. The film is strong, so you see here, I'm just going to tape that. Nothing's being damaged. The perforations here that I made, like I showed you, you just tear it right off. And you just come back over here, bring it across. Okay, I'm going to jump over to the other side and I'll do the same. This is how you section off large stickers and this is exactly how you do them. So again, I don't need tape over there because that side is secure. I'm going to take this blade and cut all the way through the blue film on the bottom so that I can section it off and then just repeat the process here. I got lucky. Well, almost lucky. lifted a phone number there because I went too quickly. Just rub it back down. Five's starting to come off also. Depends usually on the weather. If it's too cold, it'll, that'll happen sometimes. That happened again because I didn't follow my own rules there to pull along the window. perfect world as you can see here somebody forgot to weed out the center of the oak so we just we can just peel that right off it's too fresh right now to, to be a big deal okay so now the only thing we have left is the extension number you could do the same you could do the same thing with this put a piece of tape secure half of it you can't do that so I'm gonna go along that, that route I usually just tape this off and just freehand it but for the purposes of this video I did the same perforation across the back. I didn't cut all the way through it, just you know, lightly drag your blade across the bottom. I'm going to secure this where I want the extension number. And then lock it down. I'll start with the bottom. And the perforation is here, so you can almost break it off. Okay, So I'm just going to tear it off just like that. That's what we make the perforation for. Rubbed on the bottom half, remove the tape, peel the rest of the transfer film or the backing off, lay down that too, and that's it. 
There you go. There you have it. She's all done. This is Ruben from Skyline Properties. Hope that's helpful.